Hi guys, this is day five. And um, I feel healed today. Yesterday I also felt healed, but today I feel even more healed. Um, so I just wanted to say that um, I've been dancing around and doing these videos for short term but right after those videos taken um i felt an extremely fast drastic drop in my energy levels and I would just sleep the entire freaking day right after that um, so it's like I felt good for those however long it was like 10 minutes or so and I danced and recorded it and then the rest of the day would be me just couldn't even move my finger to pick up my phone the entire day and just sleep um, just be able to sleep to do that um, but yet I still danced <laughs> and made those videos but don't let it you know trick you into uh, thinking yeah I was like totally fine and stuff um, I was at that time but yeah it wasn't long like long term um, I guess I don't know I get sudden rush of adrenaline I got sudden rush of adrenaline those times and then it just dropped drastically like so quickly like from feeling 10 out of 10 it would drop to like 1 out of 10 in the light of a switch so it's insane um but yeah, it's been two days now that I have been feeling almost myself again. So it is healing. At this point, like from today, I, I, I feel like, like healed almost completely. Um, I think it's just my throat, just like my voice is needs to come back a bit still not not 100 oh and my ears um this happened last time too i had like my ears were impacted as in like mm, you know the feeling of underwater so i wasn't like able to hear that well um because it's like there's pressure like in my ears and like the pressure is slowly going away it's like uh almost gone um just suddenly like one of my ears popped like um and i was like oh wow this was how i was he how i was hearing you know like i got like my hearing back on like one ear like the, the other day and now the the other one is also almost there like yeah it's almost like fully healed i'd say um, it was better than the first one, but also almost as bad. Um, mm, yeah, I'm going to get into detail if I like talk more about it, but, um, so the first one, when I, I experienced it like longer, uh, it took longer to heal, like more than a week or something now it's been i was almost healed on the fourth day but it was almost a bit like more intense 
the or as intense as it was last time like fever wise i had extremely higher fever on the first one i almost like called hospital um this one i had less severe fever but also it was consistent like i would have fever 24 hours a day but like mild to medium fever um so what else so um also fever i said oh the throat pain was a bit different than the last time uh it felt like there's a fire in my throat like fire actual burning like just there's a fire like forest fire in my in my throat and it was very uncomfortable. I don't think it was that severe last time, like that throat fire, like the, f the sensation was a bit different. It was more like fire burning. Um, and uh, also there's something happened that, um, so, so on the first day of my symptoms where I did, didn't have a clue or like I was COVID, I thought it was just dust, like the underground was dusty in, you know, in London. And um, we were laughing with friends and all of a sudden I felt this insane pain on on um, like one of my um, tonsils and I, I actually thought like my tonsil like snapped and like fell off like I was checking like do I have it like huh it felt like it felt like a knife just cut it like it just felt so crazy okay and then I immediately stopped making any noise like I was laughing and I immediately stopped making any ways for like, I don't know, 30 seconds or something, just like checking and like, I'm like what just happened in my mind? And then it, it felt okay again afterwards. Um, like it was like, yeah, like a punch there. Um, that was just like a moment that happened. Like don't laugh too hard, I guess. <laughs> and I'm laughing now. Um, yeah, laughing does not help with with that um but yeah that was different to the burning sensation it was more like um yeah different type of uh, feeling for a couple of seconds um for like a second fraction of a second um and then um but that was just one thing that happened it wasn't like constant um that kind of pain like did happen to me in the past before just just randomly like when you laugh too hard like like your tonsils this part like kind of hurts like a very quick um feeling and then it goes away but like it doesn't have it happens very rarely and i think it i guess it happens when i'm sick or becoming sick anyway so that's that. The throat pain was a bit different. And then following up the days, the fire burning here, this fire sensation traveled up to my face. So now I was feeling the fire on my face. Um, well, first coming out from my eyes. Well, after the throat, I felt coming out from my eyes. And then here. I guess that was the fever, like coming out from my eyes thing. But um, the basically, the fire burning sensation feeling traveled up to my face, and I was feeling it around here, like on my nose area. And that was the time, like 
um, my nose went nuts nutty nutty nuts like um I was not like mm. uh it's big graphic <laughs> you know when you're sick like you know your nose gets blocked yeah and all that stuff but it came to a point I had zero percent breath like I could I could breathe like from my nose like 0 0.001 like, it was so bad like um and like you know it, it's like you're choking because like also if you have like mucus in your mouth then like you're like you can't even breathe from your mouth properly so I used the nose spray thing I think it's called Stamar but it was like the bottle was almost ending because I think I used it on my previous um, when I was previously COVID um, yeah that worked a little uh, not fully um, but it worked and um, like the, the effects showed itself of the medicine like in the um, longer like I had to like in long term so uh, it, it was more effective after like a little time passed after I used it um, I had to do the extreme version of it like tilt my head and then like spray from one nose and then like you know let it come out of other hole or yours and shit like that uh, okay so that's all really um, then my fear after that strangely my fever went worse after my my nose was getting better my throat was better my nose was better and then the next day my fever went higher like i didn't i don't have like my temperature reader is broken so i, I don't know but i felt it was more and then the day after that it started healing so that's the whole journey really the second time having it um, but yeah the first time was completely insane the first time I didn't explain in detail that the first that I, I have goosebumps right now like the first time I felt like I was gonna die like I had my phone next to me in bed was my phone um, so I was lying on the bed yeah and my fever was so bad like and I had paracetamols in the kitchen I had um, Panadol and paracetamol in the kitchen back then it wasn't in my room I remember I was so weak to move to go and get it from there and drink it like have it so that my temperature drops so I was I asked this question to myself like you have two options right now yeah like this is insane I can't like move my finger even right now to be even able to go to the kitchen and get the paracetamols and have it so that your temperature drops so um, I asked myself out either use all my power within me and go and pick that up and have it or I reach to my phone and just dial 911 I asked that question to myself and then I um, and I at that moment uh, trust me at that moment I even felt like I don't even I can't even move my finger to it was scary I, I'm 
at that moment i even felt like i can't even move my hand to pick my phone up to do that but then i told myself i'm gonna do this and i like waited a bit like i um collected myself and literally i made it <laughs> to the kitchen i took it and i straight back to sleep and then after that you know, after half an hour or so my temperature started dropping that was the highest point yeah it was the highest point of the um temperature and then i think at that moment i didn't know i didn't know i was covid even it because the the symptoms just um the symptoms um increased in a you know so quickly like all of a sudden you know we're feeling really good and then all of a sudden you're in bed you're not able to move you know i think after that i slept in the next day i think i did the test i was able to um but yeah um i don't want to talk about this anymore yeah um but yeah um covid is not a joke <laughs> um and um it's not worth to catch it like i'd say like public transports are the worst places i both caught it in london um i live in brighton and i both caught it when i when i travel to london um, um well first one i think i got it from the club it was my it was my friend's birthday and this time i i definitely caught it on the public transport um yeah so take care of yourselves um and yeah you know immune system is important like eat healthy things um and uh just look after yourself like overall like overall everything just eat well you know exercise just do all the things that our body loves my immune system wasn't the best let's be real this time um, because i'm not really able to use my kitchen because uh, of its cleanliness problem that's you know sharing um in a student accommodation right now it's I'll be leaving soon but um so it's currently probably like five five PM right now and I haven't had breakfast yet. Um because I don't have anything in the kitchen. I don't really use it. Uh, it's not hygienic. Um I did try to like fix it but accommodation said it's our responsibility but yeah even it's not fair um so i'm gonna my hands are in hurt now i'm going out to eat as always um uh and it's it can get tricky like when you're covid and um you can't like you know cook or do anything to like eat like you still need to eat to, you know al stay alive and like heal you know and that's the most important time to be fed well and stuff yes there's delivery services and stuff but that also costs a lot of money and this time um last time i had covid that was all like delivery stuff i got um but then i like lost pretty much all my money after that and like this time, um, there is no quarantine anymore in the UK, so um, it is advised to like stay in the you know most of your ability. And it says uh, like if you go out, make sure you are wearing a mask and you know protecting other people. 
and um, uh, it says that after the fifth day you're not really contagious anymore it says basically and it also says like if you're working like you can go back to work sort of I think I read it like this I think it was saying like uh, if uh, you you know you're working then like whenever you're starting to feel great then you can you know slowly go back to work basically so they're more flexible now with with it um and yeah guys this is my covid second to covid two journey uh, yeah, I don't know, there's a performance in Cyprus in like, when is it, a month, about a month later, and uh, I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm gonna join or not, because I'm doing, I'm, you know, I'm moving houses, I mean, I'm, I'm moving places, places, properties, <laughs> um, and that's also like within itself a stressful thing and then having another stress on top of it. It's not stressful like it needs a lot of preparation and s stuff like that and my, my voice is kind of fucked as you can hear. Um, last time it took months and months for my voice to like come back and the, for the cough to go back it was several several months for the cough to go back this time oh i forgot to mention the cough started i had a very mild cough like not very persistent but it started after after my throat got better i think the same as the stuff <laughs> All right, guys, I think I talk too much. I'm gonna, don't wanna like strain my voice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. I hope you enjoyed this video. And like, if you're COVID yourself, you don't feel lonely. Um, I uh, wish you great health and um, support and love and everything that you need. Um, and you're strong on your own also, like you're a very powerful, amazing person and just all the beautiful things in the world, you deserve it want to add that in there okay um this is it ciao goodbye bye bye gushes i'm so awkward when i end videos literally i have a problem ending videos i have a problem ending any conversation anything i'm like always the people other people are the one like ending the conversation like bye by the way I'm like and I'm still talk I'm like I'm still like not like I respect people and like yes I say bye say bye whatever but like I don't know like when I get sucked into something I can't like it's not easy to get out and out of it. Like, it's just